This is IFV, the web space with your dose of business and financial news. In full view, we're making your business our business. Welcome to In Full View. I'm Marcella Palmer, bringing you the week's medium and small business news. This week, we're talking to Jonah Peretti. He's founder and CEO of social news organization BuzzFeed and co-founder of the Huffington Post. He talks about content discoverability in a competitive digital marketplace. I got obsessed with this idea of like, why, how is it that something can spread from from just a small group of friends to millions of people and started um, doing a lot of work and experiments and research to understand why do things spread, how do they spread, what's the difference between something that seems like a good idea but doesn't go anywhere and something that ends up spreading across the, the web to millions of people. BuzzFeed is a social content site. You, It's a place where you go find things that you post to Facebook or to Twitter and, to sh and share with your friends, um, sort of the most shareable content on the web. Um, we believe that Facebook and Twitter and Reddit and StumbleUpon and some of these social sites are becoming the new starting point. But in order for them to be engaging sites, there needs to be um, content for people to share on them. And so that's where we come in and we, we really focus on making content that makes people laugh, that makes people feel emotion, that tells people stuff they didn't know. Um, and our goal is to be the leading social publisher. And, and you know we've been doing it for about three years. The first uh, kind of year was was we were more of a lab experimenting and trying ideas. And and in the last year we've really um, raised money and grown into a, a site that reaches over 20 million unique visitors each month. For me, the challenge was that I was always focused on what people share, and email was you know how people shared things uh, 10 years ago. They would pass things around. And then blogs were how people started to share things and message boards and things like that. Um, and then people started going to portals. And so the big challenge I think is if you're creating content you have to realize that the world changes and you can't be creating, you can't create a, 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 a site based on a search world view when we live in a social world view. So, so it's, it's pretty important to create things that people think are worth sharing and, and want to share with each other. Google is an amazing company and they um, their goal is to organize the world's information, and the way that they did that was by um, crawling all the websites in the world and organizing them by keywords um, and matching those to the keywords people type into Google. The problem is that people started realizing how Google works, and they started to make content that was written more for the machine or the robot of Google and less for humans, and started to lose sight of, of the purpose of making content, which is make something that humans actually like, not that a robot, you know, not for a robot. And I think one of the really promising things about Twitter and Facebook and the social web is that people are starting to make things that uh, uh, that a person would see and say, "Oh, I want to share this with all my friends. I want to pass this along." So uh, I think a lot of companies are figuring out now that the key to to, to growth is having content that people will share. In particular, I see uh, we work with a lot of brands now who, who, are, who are embracing social advertising. A year or two ago, pe people wanted to do banner ads and they kind of knew they didn't work, but they still sort of did it because that's the way everything was done. Now you see companies like Virgin Mobile, who we work with, and, and GE, um, focusing on creating interesting content that, that relates to their brand. And so they're making content and acting more like publishers, but they're not just any publisher, they're social publishers who are making things um, designed for people to share them. And it's just a lot better than banner advertising. Like instead of being interrupted by an ad or, or, or having banners all over a site, they're actually making content that people want to click and then share with their friends. The biggest thing we've seen in the studies we've done is that when, when people see an ad, that is uh, interrupts them or is that they that they see because of paid media, uh, it, it has a lower li uh, lift in brand perception for the consumer than when they get something shared with them. So when you receive something from a friend who says, "Look at these funny pictures," or "Look at this," that will have a bigger impact and will make more of an impression on you than if you just saw an ad. And so I think that the biggest thing that they get is. Um, they get, they get more lift in, in brand perception and positive uh, sentiment. That's all for this week from the IFB News team. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check back every day right here at ifbnews.com for the latest on what's happening around the globe in the medium and small business world.